Today, Dwayne and I want to show you a really fun exercise, and that's teaching your dog how to heal between your legs. So we already know that dogs oftentimes, Dwayne, wait a minute, come here, are going to heal on your left side. And this is the basic heal command. If I say, Dwayne, heal, he's going to get in this position and sit, and he's going to get in this position. And then from here, I can lure him along and say, Dwayne, let's go. And heal, turning, walking, and turning, and walking. And this is all fun. I stop and he stops. Now we can teach him how to do this on our left side and on our right side. But the harder part is going to be teaching him to get between our legs. So it's very, very hard for dogs to get between our legs because it instills or it requires, I should say, a degree of confidence from the dog to be in this position. So if I want to get him between my legs, he's going to be here. And he's going to be a little confused here. See, so he's starting to chew the leash a little bit. And he's trying to figure out, what do I want? Now, I would encourage you to have your dog on some kind of a leash while you're doing this, because if you can't control him, you're going to have a hard time teaching him. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to get him between our legs. And for that, I'm going to use some treats. And these treats can be just some little Zuki treats, something very small to kind of get him into this position. Now, Dwayne has never done this before. I'm going to show it to you as well with Goofy, who has done it and has done it for years. Here, I'm going to show you to get Dwayne between my legs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move him and I'm going to get him here. And when he's there, I'm going to feed him, right? And I'm going to, when he comes out, I'm not going to feed him. So I'm going to have a handful of treats. I'm going to say, Dwayne, and I'm going to get him here between my legs. I drop one, it's fine. Here, I give him the treat. And what I'm going to do here, a little bit, because this is really kind of hard on the dog, is I'm going to start to put a little pressure. Nope. I'm going to get him here. Wait a minute. Good. Good boy. Come on. Good. Yeah, good. And get him moving between my legs to take some of this pressure off of him. Good. Good. And I'm going to name this, same thing I named it with Goofy, and that is through. Through doesn't sound like anything else. Good. And now he's putting pressure right here on my thighs, and that's kind of he's relying on me to tell him this is okay. So the more pressure I can get him to take here, good. And I can use a bridge word like good, good boy, good, good. Yeah. And then I'm going to move him out, right? So what I want to do is I want Dwayne to find this position, right? So I'm going to put a couple of these in each hand. I'm going to say, Dwayne, through through. Good. Good. Now see what I'm doing already, and he's kind of moving a little faster than a, a regular dog would who's not as well trained. So if your dog is having a harder time with this, be patient. He's kind of, he's setting in here really nicely. Like he's not trying to get out of that position. Good boy. And I want to encourage this. I want to say, good boy. Good. Good. And I'm using my, my crotch my thighs, my whole body here to put pressure on him because I want him to feel, oh, what a good boy. And I want to make sure that I use that bridge word, good, good, because I want him to stay there. Okay. And when I say okay, that's his release word. I use yes, Janet uses okay. So when we're, using, when we're working with Dwayne, we're going to use the okay release word so it's easier for him to understand. Good boy. So now I'm going to tell him, Dwayne, meter through, good, through. And through means you stay there. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another step to this and I'm going to just walk in place. And notice when I'm walking in place, notice what I'm doing. I'm using my thighs to kind of move him a little bit ah, 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 through. And that's what I wanted him to do. I want him to make that mistake because he tried to get out of there, right? And again, you're coming along with me for the first time. I've never done this with Dwayne. Janet will, will attest to that. Dwayne, through, through, good. Good through. So I'm going to take one step forward now. Good boy. Through. Good. 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 And the word through means stay in this position. Just like if I say heal, it means stay in that position, right? Now I'm going to take him out. Okay. And I'm going to reward him. It's important that you don't allow the dog to pop out on the through. So he has to go here. Through and stay there, right? Good boy, good through, good through. The movement is I lure him into this shot, right? I lure him into, through, good boy. And I hold him here, put a little pressure on my thighs, put a little pressure on each side, 
And now for now, I'm gonna to have to lure him. So I'm gonna say through, and I stop. Yeah, good boy, okay, good boy. So again, I'm gonna tell him through, good through, through, good through, 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 through. Yeah, good boy. So yes, okay, good boy, Dwayne Meter. What I don't want you to make the mistake of here is to start correct, over correcting the dog too soon. And you're gonna do that if he makes a little mistake and you go, no. Because what you're doing is you're not correcting the dog for bad behavior, but you're kind of correcting the dog for trying. And that's what, something you don't want to do with the puppy, right? You want him to know that you're encouraging him. You're on his side. You're helping him to learn this. Corrections are going to come later when he's intentionally disobedient. If you want to see part two of this video, click the link below, go to my member section. If you love this video, there's tons more like it on my channel. Subscribe today.